the guys over at New Orders P have been very busy this week. Unless you've been living under a rock, you'll know that they released the Quad Cortex and the plugin that I'm reviewing today, the SLO 100. Thanks again guys for sponsoring the video and also giving me the chance to have my own presets in the plugin as well. I'm very honoured, I'm very humbled and I'm very happy to be part of the New Orders P family. Best plugins on the market and I can't wait to get my hands on a Quad Cortex. So yeah, without further ado, just going to plug into my computer and let's just see how it sounds. I'm going to give you a quick run through. At the end of the video, I've got a playthrough of a song that I wrote especially for this video. So yeah, stick around to the end for that and uh, let's get cracking. So we're in Logic, got Sodano open and uh, for those of you who don't know, as soon as you click this, it changes the way it looks. It's pretty sick. So if you're familiar with Neural already, you'll see that uh, it looks very similar to a lot of the other plugins that they use. Down in the bottom left, you've got your tuner, you've got your MIDI settings if you're using like a foot switch or something. Um, you can see all the similar controls that you used for a Soldano amp as well. I had one last year that I did a review for and it was really cool. So I've played around with the plugin for a bit and it does sound pretty much exactly the same as the real thing. So top left, you've got your pedals, you've got a compressor, an overdrive pedal, which I would always say is a bit like a tube screamer. Um, you've got an overdrive two, which is a bit more of a distortion pedal. So I actually played around with that earlier on top of a clean channel and it really worked, but again, it can be used to boost uh, leads or any of your kind of dry, crunchy tones. And then what I really like seeing, um, I really liked it in the Gojira plugin as well, is like effects pedals, like a chorus, um, which I've got some presets that I've made that are using the chorus as well. Uh, then we've got the EQ option, which I have actually used on a few of them, I think. As you can see here as well, like everything else, you've got the cab option, just the one cab, but you can change the mics as always. Um, cab IR is provided by your friend and mine, Adam Nolly Get Good, uh, but you could always use your own custom IRs as well. Uh, and yeah, there you go, you can see that it changes here also, which is cool. And you've got the delay and the reverb, which I've also used in some of the presets I've made. As I said at the beginning, I've been lucky enough this time, for the first time ever, to have my own preset. Woohoo! It's actually like, I know it sounds really emotional and mushy, but it's actually a really kind of cool thing for me to be involved in this. Um, so yeah. I'm not going to get all mushy, I'm just going to go in and play around with it. So I won't really go through any of the other presets only because this is my video, so I'm going to go through mine, obviously. I'll just show you how it sounds on default and then I'll go through my presets and show you how they sound. So yeah, this is the default sound. <laughs> So when I first got this amp last year, the real one, I was like, oh, this is based on, for those of you who don't know, uh, things like 5150, Mesa, all the kind of high gain American, even German, British amps that came out after the 80s, 90s, are kind of based on the Soldano. Um, and I was like, oh, it's very dry. And I say dry meaning like saturated, I guess, like hard lady mids and a crunchy gain rather than like a kind of wet uh, 5150 metalcore kind of, I don't know. I say dry a lot and I don't know if that even makes any sense, but yeah, dry gain. And then I found that it's, it's an app that you definitely have to kind of dig into. John Brown's very good at that and so is kind of Josh and Nolly, Josh from Silosis. Um, and yeah, the more I found that I... As soon as you give it some of that, then the app kind of opens up a little bit more. And the overdrive you see on the left here is your traditional kind of distortion and the overdrive you see on the right is essentially like your level, like your gain uh, or the volume, sorry. Um, so yeah, sounds great. I actually, the more I played around with it, I actually really like just the default sound. So yeah, I'm really pleased. Um, thank you again, Neuro DSP, for allowing me to have my own presets. So I'll just go through those and give you an idea of how they sound and what I was thinking when I made them. So if you can probably guess, 40 Cent Cowboy is a specific Texan guitar player. Time back, Daryl. I won't even try and play the solos because I can't, so I won't. Uh, let's go through to the next one. 
ascending. So this is my kind of trivium sound. <laughs> Most of the trivium songs I was basing this off of are in drop D, and I'm in E standard, so yeah. So yeah, when I was making this song for this video at the end, after the demo, um, I was trying to find like a really good lead sound. Um, and my good friend and business associate Sam from Unlucky17 Audio, who mixes all my videos and mixes the song at the end of this one, made some of these presets as well. So yeah, when I was sending them over to him, I was like, oh, I kind of like this one. It's just really big and open sounding. <laughs> Yeah, delay and reverb that goes on for ages. Uh, Chewy, there you go, this is one of Sam's one. Yeah, so much attack in this amp, I'm really enjoying it. This is kind of not a low gain preset but kind of chewy as in like a shum shum that's a chewy yeah that kind of purr at the low end well done Sam uh, the next one is coming for you. This is one that I made. Any of the ones that have like a like a, a weird phrase, they're based on an actual sound. This is Pantera, I think. Here you come, reach for your gun. Yes, yeah, that bit. Yeah, this is my Pantera one. Obviously you can turn things off like the gate completely, but then you get a lot, a lot of fuzz and fizz in the background. Next one is Cursed. Uh, Sam made this one. I'm not sure if it's Kill Switch Engage. This is my curse. Like I said earlier, Death Greets Me, I think is Metallica, Fade to Black. Uh, yeah, that's a lyric in one of the songs. Oh, I love the kind of delay reverb as it fades out. Destroy Yourself. I think Sam did this one. Because I can't figure out what it is. Really nice though, dialing that overdrive back to three. Does it slay? That's my take on kind of Ola's will it chug thing. Does it slay? James Lee's. I think it does. Yeah, really enjoying it. Down pick only. <laughs> Initially, this was going off of the fact that, like I said earlier, it's an amp that you kind of got to dig into. Um, 
The gain is probably a bit too low in retrospect, but you can always change it and make it higher. <laughs> I think I originally called it make you work for it or something. Yes, yeah, like my John Brown, my John Brown preset. Yeah, halfway through faded black, so obviously that's fade to black. Fizz gig, if you're a fan of the Dark Crystal, this is based on him. I think also because it's quite a fizzy sounding one. Glassy is one of mine, it's a clean tone that I made. Madhouse, I think this is Crazy Train. <laughs> Yeah, loving it. This is so good. Ride the lightning. Yeah, it's too late for those down picks. What else have we got? We're almost getting to the end. Sanitary, again, more Metallica. So that'll be um, Sanitary Gates. Uh, welcome home, Sanitary. <laughs> I'm sure you're aware, I'm a huge fan of Metallica. So yeah, a lot of these are just Metallica presets. I've done the lead and a rhythm version, so as you saw with Fade to Black and with Sanitarium, I've done a bit of both. Slays, this is my like go-to, just default one. Another one of Sam's ones. Quite a spanky one. Yeah, there we go. to the end now I think. Twangly might be the last one. Oh, still screaming is... I don't remember. It's probably Metallica one again. Them chugs. Twangly. 
Twangly, this is Sam's clean tone. <laughs> love how it fades away at the end so yeah that was all of my presets all like 20 of them I don't know how many I made but there's some great ones Craig from Bleed From Within Stephen from Bleed From Within again my friend uh, George uh, Andrew Boehner hi Andrew Boehner Charlie Robbins is a great guitarist Kean Hushmand one of my friends from Australia from Instagram Lucas from Rings of Saturn there's so many people oh even I Built The Sky see so many people on here um, it's such an honour such a privilege to be involved and to actually have my presets in the actual final release and also Isan from Emperor I mean epic leave a like on the video if you enjoyed what I just did if you like the presets I made if you like the plugin if you don't then let me know in the comment section below what you thought also let me know what your favorite preset of mine was or anyone else's because again it's great to be involved in such a great team with so many great people if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe because I'm posting new videos every single week and I'll see you guys very soon for some more videos Hi everyone!